Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain the crisscross inheritance. So it is in the genetic second year zoology. It is also one of the important long answer question. So first of all, inheritance means heredity, the transformation of characters from parent to half spring. That is from parent to a fun generation. But here crisscross means the skip generation from here parents to not. first generation of offspring but here the characters are transferred to the grandchildren of the generation so that is why here one generation is skip so this characters are not elevated by the f1 generation but the characters of the parents is shown by the grandchildren so here one generation is skip that is why it is called as a criss cross inheritance it is first observed in the drosophila by the th morgan so the character is i color the i color of drosophila from the male parent to the male grandchild by the carrier woman so here the males are very much prone to the disorder here the females are the carriers why the females are carrier why males are very much prone means here male having only x chromosome females having two x chromosomes so we we have to know about a dominant and recessive the characters some of the characters are dominant and some are recessive so here the dominant characters are over expressed than the recessive character so here the criss cross inheritance is best example color blindness and hemophilia these two are x linked recessive characters these x linked recessive character is inherited to the grandson by the daughter so here recessive means here the dominant here in the female we have a two type of chromosomes na same homologous chromosomes that is xx so here the color blindness and hemophilia is a recessive for example this chromosome having the hemophilia and color blindness disorder in a female this another x will protect and it is dominant over the disorder chromosome that is why here males are very much prone females are very less prone to the disorder but in a male so it has a only x chromosome so here x recessive character so there is no another x chromosome to dominate in the male so as it is this gene is elevated the character that is why males are very much prone to the disorders of hemophilia and color blindness so here hemophilia and color blindness is example for criss cross inheritance it is a x linked recessive disorder in the exam they may ask examples of x linked recessive disorders example color blindness and hemophilia and here in the retina we have a rod cells and cone cells here remember c for color cone cells are responsible for the color vision this color blindness persons are not able to recognize the red color and green color so if the dominant gene is present the vision is normal if not they have a disorder so in the exam they may ask the probabilities of the half springs they give the normal male the cross between the the normal female marry to the color blind male what is the probability of male and female child and what is the probability of the color blind female color blind male marry then what about the half springs so this may this like they may ask the questions in the m set and neat also so you have to remember if the normal female so the karyotype is cc is the normal cb is the color blind if the normal female marry to the color blind male they may get all the sons or normal all the daughters are carriers so that is why this this generation is skip there is no disorder in this first generation but these carrier women marry to a normal male but the sons are color blind and normal female is there normal male is there carrier female is there so you have to remember 
in criss cross the first generation is skip the females are carriers in the next generation the character is elevated by the male grandchild so that is why one generation skip criss cross inheritance if so why because here male parent have a color blind here the female daughter have a carrier then this carrier woman marry to a normal male the character is elevated so here male parent to male grandchild by the female carrier that is criss cross and another probability is also there if the female and male both are having color blind then all the half springs also having the color blind simple both are having male female having color blind then half springs also color blind in the next possibilities if the color blind female not a carrier cb cb then a normal male so here the marriage marriage between the color blind female and normal male all the sons are color blind why because from mother to male child the characters are elevated so all sons are getting color blind all the daughters are carrier then other probability the carrier female marriage to a color blind male 50% daughters are color blind 50% normal sorry carrier 50% sons are color blind they may ask different type of questions by this probabilities just you have to remember the possibility of the parents whether they are carriers color blind or normal vision so between these two then you can cross and you can identify color blind or carrier or normal so same like these questions ask in m set and neat they may give in the statement form if the color blind person marry to a normal man what is the probability of the son or what is the probability of daughters and how much percentage of color blind persons in the half springs so whatever the question first of all you have to identify the karyotype of male and female by the seeing of statement then you can do this cross and for example this is total 100% so here all the sons 100% are color blind 100% of carriers for example this so daughter and here also daughter that is why the daughters are 100% 50% daughters are color blind 50% are carriers if i can take 100% of son 50% color blind 50% normal likewise so the percentage also within our hand so based on question you have to go through so this is the long answer question you have to write the introduction part and the possibilities so you have to write the male parent color blind and a female carrier then this from female carrier to half spring they can get the disorder so here one generation is skip from male parent to male grandchild through the carrier daughter so if you like the video please share and subscribe thank you